Guys, welcome back to Douglas's Model Garages videos. Um, I've seen a post on Lucas C's uh, uh, car model uh, group um, and uh, on Facebook about uh, some of the not so great kits that MPC has made and kind of a challenge uh, thing he did, uh, group build. So I thought, while well, I'm waiting for the one I just ordered, yes, I know I bad kit, but got to build it again, right? So I thought I'd show off first off the '67 GTO I did. This one I did maybe about a year ago or two, and there's the engine I put in it. Good detailed battery. Um, reason it's got a vinyl top is because you see. This one had a, took a little tumble after it got painted, and uh, it the roof just got a little scratches in it, so that's the reason for the vinyl top. So that would be the 67 GTO by MPC. Very cool car. As you can see, this is not stock in the front here. That was, uh, let me see chopped sectioned added filled and um reinstalled so that's the 67 by mpc my version of it oh and there we go here's the suspension and what you have of suspension under it Then I know how you guys are, you talk about the 72 GTO that MPC makes. This is the first one I did. My dad had given me this kit a while back, and I finally built it uh, about two years ago. This is a uh, brush paint. This is pre-airbrush pre time for me. I was using spray cans, but at the time when I was when I built this one, there it wasn't warm enough outside to uh, spray it with a spray can. So I just decided to um, brush paint it, and I used the chrome marker, of course, on it. And as you can see, it has the same engine as the '72. This might be a bigger engine. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Let me see, is that a bigger engine? No, it's just the uh, valve covers I painted. But, um, it has the same running gear as the 67. I don't know if that's actual for a 72 and a 67 Pontiac GTO to have the same running gear. Or maybe the same engine size, but way different horsepower. Being all the cars in the 70s, uh, got, um, kind of neutered by all the smog and this is my newer version of it this is uh, my first uh, airbrush before I learned how to take care of my airbrushes and this was done in a uh, Tamaya gold leaf I think as, as you can see the color kind of sparkles and has a uh, blue interior in it with the gold body. Yeah, a little Michigan stuff there. Sorry, Ohio guys. But I live in Ohio and I don't follow Ohio State, so sorry. Um, here's the engine in this one. Same engine as the uh, other GTO, the 72 right here, the red one. It's just the gold one is a little fancier. So, I just thought I'd do this one for, uh, instead of a messy, messy workbench Friday, why not a GTO Friday with, uh, a few of my GTOs. I do have, uh, another GTO, and, uh, but that's in storage. I should, uh, next video I should show you the 69 GTO Judge my dad built. That is, uh, as uh, as uh, Adam at Sodak Models would say, naked. It is literally naked. It's just nothing but glue. 
and there is no paint on it whatsoever. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, um, uh, thank you for the, all the new subscribers. And, uh, thanks, uh, Sean at the uh, Scale Model Car Guy. Uh, thanks for all the, for the shout out. And, uh, thanks for watching the videos, guys. And uh, see you guys in the New Year's, and I will try to do a uh, year-end review. All right. You have a good day, guys. Bye.